Now that we're inside the temple, there's something I must tell you. The Seeker's Archive holds vast reserves of secret knowledge, but I didn't tell you the reason for this. The Seeker's Archive is no ordinary library. It's actually a shrine to Hermaeus Mora, the Daedric Lord of Knowledge. Yes, it was built centuries ago, long before the Yokudans came to Hammerfell. I've been visiting the shrine for several years now, offering relics to Hermaeus Mora in exchange for secret knowledge. I'm sorry, but I wasn't sure you would help me if you knew. Not everyone has an open mind where Daedric princes are concerned. But I do seek knowledge to defeat the Celestials. That much is true. I believe Hermaeus Mora can provide that knowledge. The followers of Hermaeus Mora who worshipped here were called Seekers. The Seekers brought gifts to the shrine, and the Daedric Prince rewarded them with secret knowledge. I carry a relic from the Dragontail Mountains for just such a purpose. I do what I must. Hermaeus Mora is not like other Daedra. He may seem cruel at times, but he's not irrational. He's only interested in knowledge. If bringing him gifts will save Craglorn from the Celestials, then so be it.
Hermaeus Mora's shrine waits down below. It seems he has summoned Daedra to protect the shrine since the Celestials appeared. Be careful. The Lord of Knowledge, the Prince of Secrets, we're nearly there. Prince of Fate, Lord of Secrets, your seeker, Ibrula, has returned to you. Approach me, seeker. Your offering, my lord. A relic from the Dragontail Mountains, covered in runes of an unknown language. Your gift is accepted. Tell your companions to approach me. Hermaeus Mora wants to speak with you. Approach his statue.
the answer to all questions, and the question behind every answer. No need to introduce yourself. Your name is already recorded in my realm of Apocrypha. I know everything. You have come to my shrine because the stars have fallen to Tamriel. You want to know how to defeat them. I can, but knowledge must never be given freely. A price must be paid. Part of the cost was bringing my servant Ibrura back to me. But you will pay much more if you want to learn all that I know about the Celestials. Then listen closely, as I will not repeat myself. The Celestial Warrior's Army of Ankara was created centuries ago by the Yakutan General Tarish Z. He came to me to learn how to bind his army to him, even in death. I granted his wish. His offering pleased me. He built the temple above the shrine and promised that his army would defend it. The Ankara have risen, which means Taurasi has risen as well. They are bound to him. To defeat them, you must defeat him. All I have told you is all that you have earned. If you wish to know more, you must become my eyes and ears in Craiglorn. You must bring me fresh knowledge to feast upon. I hunger for lost bits of lore. I thirst for new knowledge to add to my coffers. Bring your offerings to me. If I find them acceptable, I will return their worth in the knowledge you seek. I am sorry for the deception. I was uncomfortable dealing with a Daedric Prince. And I admit it. I was afraid. I have since embraced my role. Hermaeus Mora's curiosity is insatiable, but his knowledge reaches beyond mortal understanding. I will continue my quest to find relics for my master and acquire the knowledge to defeat the Celestials. You might do the same. If you find curious relics from Craglorn's lost history, bring them here, and Hermaeus Mora will reward you.
this won't do. This... You, my sister Gabrielle, told me about you. She said danger doesn't phase you. Good. See that large staff sticking out of the ground? It's emitting magical energy at unprecedented levels. If we don't stop it, it'll explode. Some sort of celestial object. A few of the locals call it the Mage's Staff. They say it fell from above just before the constellations vanished. It's extremely volatile, and every magic-addicted sorcerer and Atronach in the region is drawn to it. We need to find a way inside, to the core, but getting in will require an unprecedented amount of magical energy. When the staff hit, pieces broke off into elemental shards. Take these focusing crystals. Each one can absorb one type of elemental infusion from a shard. Bring one infusion of each type to me, and I'll combine them to open a portal into the staff. Be warned, though. The spell fiends are drawn to the elemental shards. You will be unable to harvest an elemental infusion from a shard until the spell fiends are defeated. After the fiends are dead, you will only have a brief window in which to harvest the elemental infusion. Quickly. If the staff explodes, it has enough power to turn all of Craglorn into a crater. Collect all three elemental infusions and bring them to me. Then we can force our way into the staff and stop the explosion. We are dealing with magic of a whole different order than any of us are used to. If this really is the mage's staff, then only infusions of energy from its own shards can break its wards. I only hope that we can find a way to contain it once inside. I know. We aren't very much alike. But as much as it pains me to admit it, under that vapid exterior is a very capable mage. I was in Craglorn when this thing hit, so the Mage's Guild sent me to investigate.
the energy. Good. I've created magic foci to receive each element. I'll meet you inside. 